I really thought this would just be a stupid idea, but then I'm like, if I wanted to do it, is it really that stupid? So this bad boy is actually just a clothing rack. Oh, Oliver, that's very fancy. Why do you have just a clothing rack? I'll tell you, hold on. Come on. I used to shoot a lot of photography and videography content, like kind of creative shots. Turn you off. Ooh. So I would use this to suspend things from, but I'm gonna use it for a little something else today. A little something just, it is stupid. I'll be, I'll be fair on that. Oh, I probably need this goal. I thought that was something very different when I, when I remembered I'd bought it. Let's go and set up a goal in the garage. I don't suppose you remember all that foil and stuff I bought yesterday? Well, today we're gonna to use it. It's a lot smaller than I expected it to be, but here's the plan. This is gonna, I'm gonna tape like foil and stuff across this and then try and kick the ball and see what happens. Just how many pieces of, of the material I can kick through. That's the plan. You know, after I bought this stuff yesterday, I thought about how much better this whole idea would have been if I did like sticks of beef jerky. That just seems like way more fun. But here we are. I did also buy some gold bears yesterday that I forgot about. And when I say beef jerky sticks would be more fun, I mean more entertaining to watch from the viewer perspective. Cause like, really how many beef jerky sticks does it take to stock, stop a soccer kick? I don't know. So let's start today with how much aluminium foil can stop my soccer kick. One piece. That works well. God, flipping heck. 10 pieces. Wait. So it was the tape that came off, not the foil that broke. There's no way I can't kick through 10 pieces of foil. All right, retry, retry with more tape on the edges. I'm not having that. Although that feels quite thick now. It was like a thick boy. You know, I wasn't hitting it at full speed. I wasn't hitting it at full speed. 10 pieces, take two. Max power. I might have gotten ahead of myself. Let's go down to five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. I can't believe this is happening. If the foil's ripping at the edges, does that technically mean that I go through it? I think that does. I think that counts as a win. Let's go up to 20. No. No, let's start at 15. Okay, that's one roll done. I'd like to make one of those big, smooth silver balls after this. We are 15 sheets, and I've reinforced the edges. Come on! Yeah, see? Who do you think you are now? 15 sheets stuck here. <laughs> this is taking way too long, so I'm gonna pop in some, some beats. 20 sheets of aluminum foil. What? Did I just say it the American way? 20 sheets of aluminum foil. That's embarrassing. Oh, 
Aside from the muscle that's going on in here, I feel very strong right now. 25 sheets, let's go. Look at that for an imprint. That's like a 50 cal rifle going straight through that. My seat. All right, we're going all the way up to 30 actually. 30 sheets. Roll number three. Here's what 30 sheets looks like. <laughs> it's like a semi-solid piece of metal. I don't know, dude. I feel like this one's gonna get me. 30 pieces. How? Oh, I didn't, it didn't break. No, it, this is really it, isn't it? It didn't break. My, <laughs> my reinforcement has been too good. I've caused some pretty gnarly damage going on over here. Gnarly. What am I talking about? <laughs> you know what, Oliver? We need a quick band-aid fix over here. I've got you. Nice. This looks like it's about to fall off. I think this is going to do it. We're going all out. going to get some protein drink in me, some Quest Nutrition. Chocolate flavored with other natural flavors. Okay. 30 sheets. Yeah, come on. I've got four rolls left. Should we do the whole thing? Okay. This is gonna take ages. This is 76 pieces of foil. <laughs> UPS guy having a quick look in. What is this idiot doing? That's fair. All right, I have done a really good job of reinforcing it this time, if I may say so myself. There is absolutely no chance that I'm kicking through a sheet of metal. So I got some smelling salts just to see what would happen. That's pretty solid. Okay. Wake the dead, that's always good. Just, just do it, just do it. <laughs> the tape came off. Round two. Just, I need more tape up here. Oh my nose. Bloody hell. I think I took too big of a whiff. <laughs> I feel like I just got opened up about six new airways. No, I feel like I just chewed Airwaves gum with five gum after drinking iced water. My gosh. Okay, I'm putting everything I can behind this shot. <laughs> Nose is running. Come on, Oliver. I can't do it. I got no chance. Was it 78 sheets? Man, I thought that would be far easier. What did I get stopped at? 20 sheets? 30 sheets? I'll go and recycle as much of this as I can. So separate it from between trash and recyclables. This is actually a pretty good um, potential partnership. Like if this video does well, uh, I'm having another chat with O'Keefe's in later this month actually, who also own or are owned by Gorilla Glue. And they have a duct tape too. And so instead of using duct tape, use Gorilla Tape. And they might say, you well, you know, that doesn't really vibe with us because it's not how we'd be using tape. And my pitch would be along the lines of, you know, I agree with you, but what do people think of when they think of masking tape? They think duct tape, right? In fact, they even call it duct tape. So this could be a really great way for them. I'm not outside much, I'm really not. And so it's annoying that the few times that I am outside, 
that's going on. <laughs> and he's got to do his job, I get it. So this is like an opportunity for them to get Gorilla Glue as a duct tape brand on the forefront of people's mind when they think they need masking tape. That's what I think this type of content is really good for. It doesn't sell a product, but it is good for brand recognition. Which is what I'm in the business for here. Non-recyclables, recyclables. Oh, and it's recycling day tomorrow. You may, you have permission to leave the house. Hi, Woogie. Do not wait, I said. Hello. Do you want me to help put your shoes on? If I make a face right now, Joey Swole's coming for you. Oh, you get old twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> Ricky, come here. How was your nap? I don't think it was very good, was it? Uh, yeah. Daddy. That's right, Daddy was playing with foil. Oh, thank you. Your best helper. Thank you, Rugies. What's your other request? We'll see how reasonable you are. If you're fit to ask your king a question. I know, you're right. I shouldn't be uh, granting a peasant a question. You know, I shot an ending to this video earlier, and I realized that actually there's is this, the way this all pieces together. I had something left to do for the rest of this video is to do with these, but I didn't have time for it. When I say I didn't have time for it, I had to choose between do I hang out with my wife and the kids or do I choose to work on this thing? And like, there's a part of me that, you know, the discipline that's like, you should get that done. Like the, the thing that you wanted to do and you said you would do, get that done. But there's no need, there's no pressure to do something as irrelevant as what I was going to do to this, although it's interesting, of course, because I'll do it tomorrow. It's irrelevant in comparison to family. So the same way I chose to do something fun today just because I wanted to is the same reason I chose to hang out with family instead of doing this thing. But now that everyone's asleep, I'm going to make the final edits that I need to for tonight. And then we'll film this tomorrow. And I'm super excited for tomorrow because it is the day of the MLS partnership. Very interested. Very excited. All right, cool. See you tomorrow.